All right now. Well, praise Allah and honors to the Holy Prophet Drew Ali. Welcome to the Morsan Temple of America, Temple number 43. My name is MRC or Mercy Jones Bay. So, praise Allah. Welcome to all the members, new members. I want to say welcome to the guest. I want to say welcome. All right? Praise Allah for you. Okay? And praise Allah that you have made decisions to save your life. Okay? I want to give honors. I want to give first I'll rise now and give all perfect praise to Allah. Most gracious, most merciful. I love you, Father God, Allah, and thank you. Thank you, Father God, Allah, the Father of love. Thank you for sending me love, making me understand that I am love by simply tapping into my heart. Thank you for being there always. Thank you for making me. I want to thank you for every single thing that you deliver that is right in my life. I want to thank you for revelations so that I can see through the cloudy visions. Because sometimes it gets a little cloudy, but Allah will always give you the reason to see. And I just want to say I love you, Allah. I want to give honors to your holy and divine prophet, Noble Drew Ali, for being the truth made manifest for giving us an example of what it means to be a man, for giving us an example of what it means to be a, a father figure to an entire nation. I wanna give honors to the Prophet Noble Jew Ali for bringing back our righteous mind through our Holy Quran of the more science of America, the divine instructions from our Holy Prophet Noble Jew Ali. I wanna give honors to the Prophet for bringing us back, back home. I wanna give honors to the Prophet for teaching us or giving us the instructions and teaching us on how to love instead of hate. And I want to give him honors for that lessons learned. Thank you, Prophet Drew Ali, for saving my life, for you are the savior of humanity. I want to give honors to Marcus Garvey, the forerunner of the prophet, for laying a ground of purity, purity, purity. Thank you, Marcus Garvey. I want to give honors to the Supreme Grand Sheik of the Moore Science Temple of America, which would be Edward E. Milly Eel. Thank you, E. Milly Eel, for staying true, for being the first shepherd of the shepherd of the Holy Flock. I want to give honors to all the officials of the Moore Science Temple of America. Honors to all the adepts of the Moore Science Temple of America. And 100% Honors to the members, the most important people here. Recording. I want to give you honors, members, showing up on your holy day. For it is our holy day for all Muslims here and all over the world. Okay. Today's lesson is in chapter eight. Oh, and honors to whom honors are due. We're gonna be reading out of chapter eight this evening. All right, we're gonna deal with the thing called idol. Idols. We wanna deal with things called idols. Idols are subtle. Idols can be ideas. Idols can be thoughts. And the double entendre of the word idol is very important to comprehend also. Because you could be an idle person, like a procrastinator. Right? You gotta watch being idle in idol worship. Idol worship is what threw man off. Idol worship is worshiping someone else other than your father God Allah. Idol worship could even be at the point where you worship the ideal or idol mm -hmm, too, mm -hmm, of uh, of of hate. Hate is an idol that people worship at, and it starts once again, as I always say, with self. These lessons are not external like that. 
until they become a part of every part of you. And then of, of course it becomes external. These lessons are to be taken internal first, looked within self and not used as a weapon against anyone else other than yourself. Some people use this Quran as a weapon against other people to try to tell them what they're doing wrong and why, they, why their garden is full of nothing but rotten weeds. And the prophet tells us specifically to pick our own weeds. He didn't tell you to go pick somebody else's weed. He told you to pick your weed. He told you to tend to your garden, which means your life. Some people don't even plow before they start to sow. In other words, people want the quick benefit if they don't want to go do the work to go plow the field. I want to sit back while the dude out there in the field, hot, sweaty, plowing, and then when the work is done, go steal a fruit or two. Like, you got to plow your field. You got to plow it because it's idols there. The idol, the idols of slothness, the idols of a liar, lust. Uh, irregular concepts that have no base in reality. In other words, this is a fantasy mind of dreams that they, that that the person doesn't want to come in and make a concrete reality of it. And you know why? Because they don't look at self. Self is the biggest destroyer. It's their self is the biggest destroyer. There's no other destroyer other than self. You can blame anybody, but it's you. It's always you because it's you who is going through the issue. Whether someone did something or you did something, you're a part of it. Most people blame other people about their own issue because they don't look at self because they're idly worshiping a, a false concept of who they are. They want other people to see them a certain way, but they don't want... You know what I'm saying? It's like a mask people wear. This is an idol. If you have a mask on and you ain't being the real you, you're an idol. You're you're an idol worship. Because it's only you. It's only the real you. The body is a avatar. And it's got and it's gotten a lot of people out of control because they don't want to control themselves. Self is the body. The body has desires. Certain desires become idol worship because they don't know how to control it. Desires. Chapter number eight, Jesus reveals to the people of their sinful ways. Sinful. Ignorance. Willful disobedience to law. That's what it means to be sinful. All of those spooky crap you learned in Christianity, Christianity, kick that crap out your head because it do you no good. Ain't no spook God. Ain't none of that crap. Ain't no heaven and hell other than one you build. You, won't, you ain't going to know heaven other than the hell. Uh, you are not going to heaven unless you get yourself out of the hell you in now. Some of y'all think this is the way it go. This is all the test. Because you turn your back on Allah. Therefore, he had to put everybody back on the planet and see who is who. And you weren't told it's a test so we can see the real you. The real you. And sometimes the real us is ugly because we don't look at ourselves. We look at everybody else. I do it sometimes, but I check myself, but I'm not, not susceptible. That's why I stay on myself. I stay on who? Myself. Who? Self. Who? Self. Is there any other person attached to that? No, because that person can't save my life. That person really can't make me happy. I have to be happy and move into and, and enjoy that. Why can't, how can you be happy? By knowing self. And how easy is that? Knowing the things that bring you pain and the people around you that bring you pain. 
and then actually doing something about it by looking within. <laughs> Stuff ain't that hard. Please put your mic on a mute at this time. Thank you so much. So, um, sinful ways. Jesus teaches of sinful ways. What is sin? Stagnation. Stuck. You want to know it, but you don't want to put the work in to know it. So you're stuck. You want to know yourself. And you read the words, but you don't put the work in. So you don't know yourself. And you got pride. Pride. Your pride, you know. But what is there to be prideful of if you don't know who you are? What is there anything if you don't know who you are? Because you're subject to everybody else's wishes and dreams. You don't even know your own. You hoping someone else can be you. You hoping to be someone else. You don't look within to find the answer in meditation sometimes. And this is the problem with the shop. We still worry about what somebody else thinks. Idol worship. You idly worship them what they think of you. And you don't even look within and what you think of you. When you don't see yourself, others see you so plainly. Love ain't an ejaculation. It is not an ejaculation. Love is Allah. Allah dwells within our heart. And if you ain't tapping in, then you in a fantasy. Because you can't get to love another person unless you tap into what love is. And you got a fantasy on love. You think love, some people think love is an ejaculation. Or an orgasm. No, it's not. Love, love is the hard struggle to look within and beat back your demon. That's when you know you love you. And you ain't worried about nobody else's demon. You worried about your own. That's love. That is true love. You looking within and taking care of the very things that harm you. Don't you? You're so worried about how maybe somehow someone else is harming someone else. You got every advice for everybody else, but you can't even take your own advice when you look into the mirror. You know why I know this? Because I did that. I am not not susceptible. I am not perfect. I strive for perfection. And how do I know I'm not perfect? Because I look at my faults and I try to do better. You know, I got, got a big old heart, so I'm susceptible for a con artist. I give people chances so I'm susceptible to be fooled because the people know. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna stop being me. I'm just gonna learn how to guard against a little bit better. This is knowing thyself. What's your weakness? Because if you don't know, that's your idol. Because you keep going back to it and you don't do anything about it. This ain't no, what you think this is down here? We messed up, y'all. And now we're trying to get back home. Some of y'all think this is the way it go. No, it don't go. This is your test. This thing is going to fall away because it's falling away. And some people don't know what to do. Why? Because justice is coming. Justice is coming. And it don't care what you say. It's going to hit you on what you did. It's going to pull every lie, every sneaky thing, every manipulative thing because you didn't take care of it. So it's going to come and take care of you. Because Allah's laws don't lie. Sin is ignorance and willful disobedience to the law. And there's only one law. And that is love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And every other law comes from there. 
These are the foundations of the, of the universe. Unbelievable power like you couldn't believe if you would tap in. And, and, and stop tapping in on everybody else. Tap in on you. Check in on you. How you doing today? How you feeling today? Did you accomplish a goal? Well, why not? Because it's the weakness that kept you back that you didn't do. Because it's all in us, all of us. But it's those who look within to check themselves like their weakness so they can move forward to the biggest possibility, which is love. And then it comes in abundance. Because then you get to, when you balance, the universe got no other choice but to find you one like, so that can move you to the greatest of things. But if the other, but if you're not looking in, then the universe it's only going to get you to you, you're going to get hit upside the head until you recognize your issue happiness is always there ain't happiness don't leave you leave it because you chose to be angry that morning because you didn't solve your issue that night Happiness don't go nowhere. You just don't want to tap in. In all the cities of Orissa, Jesus taught. At Katat, by the riverside, he taught, and thousands of people followed him. One day, a car of, y of Yagunath was hauled along by scores of friends' men and Jesus said, behold, a form without a spirit. Oh, God, that's so powerful. People walking around just forms because they don't want to tap into their spirit. And then you steal other people's forms and put masks on. And you call it your, you, your personality. You don't even know you. Yet. Because if you did, there would be no need for no mask. There would be no need for no deceit. There would be no need to white lie, little lie about you to you. See, this spirit passed by, right? So behold a form without a spirit passed by a body a body <laughs> with no soul no mental capacity no mental capacities to get them out of situations no no determination to stick with it long enough to get yourself out and see the success no soul no mind. You ain't thinking, in other words. I'll say if you can just get you to think, you can save yourself. That's how powerful you are. Who you think is going to come and save you? Your man? Your woman? Your child? Your grandfather? Your mama? Your daddy? They're not coming. Because they got to save themselves. And by you saving yourself, you become the beautiful example. It makes it that much easier for your baby. For a woman, by being a good example, makes it that much easier for the see, for the man to see. Oh my, dang, that's dope. I need to, you know, implement that. Let's enhance that. Because you're not, when you know yourself, you're not afraid to admit you're wrong to your woman. You weren't afraid to admit that you was wrong because you know who you are and it doesn't embarrass you because truth is stronger than embarrassment. But some of y'all put the embarrassment first so you never admit to the truth, so you never get to the beauty of, of feeling happy, satisfied, loved. Not by really anybody else. 
because no one else can love you first. You got to love you. And then they blend. Then people blend. People who love themselves blend with other people who love themselves. People who don't love themselves and fake it go find other people and they get their ass whooped. They go through madness. They baby mama drama. They go through crazy crap. Always going through madness. Madness. Because you're mad at you. Because you ain't fixed you. And you're looking for someone else to do it. And then some people turn around and blame the other person because that person couldn't fix you. Oh, you, it's you. No, nigga, it's you. No, mm -mm, excuse my Negro thing. Got a little emotional. Not emotional. But, you know, a little uh, there with it. But it's real. It's, it, it's us. It's us looking at ourselves in the mirror. Who's the problem? It's nobody else. Do you? I hope you really hear me today. Because I love you. Because I know I lie in me. <laughs> Bro, I got purple hearts on me. You can have no clue. I love me so much. I've learned to love me so much. I love me. I love everything about me. I wasn't able to say that before. <laughs> but bro, you better peep game on you. Because I'm telling you, happiness is bomb. Stability with you. This ain't got no other relationship but with you right now. I had, I had a relationship with myself the other day and I told myself, I love you. And looked back and said, I love you too, man. <laughs> Did, have you done that yet? I'm trying to tell you, son, you're missing out. So easy to blame everybody, isn't it? Oh, it's so easy to blame. Oh, it's so easy to blame other people. It is the easiest thing on the planet to blame somebody else. Oh, God, that is so easy. Oh, that's, oh, it's easy. The hardest thing, though, and those who have the greatest success are the ones who blame themselves. And they figure out ways never do it again. You know how that happens? It's so easy. It is the easiest thing in the world to do. Be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with self. Self, the low. It, it can't deal with truth. It's got to conform. It's only not conforming because you're hitting it with lies. It's the body. You are in control. And if you hit it with lies constantly and deceit, guess what it's going to give you back? And it's going to show up on your face, your body. It's going to show up on your wrinkle. Your hair might be falling out. You may lose an arm. Because you call it, you call it in your own destruction. It's not hard, y'all. We make it hard. We look in the mirror. You're making it hard for yourself. When you lie. And you think you're doing something like, I don't know. You think you, we, you know, I used to lie to myself because I, I didn't want to get in trouble. Or I used to lie to try to get out of trouble or uh, not look bad. Bruh. And then I end up being bad. Because I never confronted 
I lied about it, but it was really real. So you understand, <laughs> there's nothing left. In other words, I didn't tell myself the truth, so I could only live in the lie. And a lie is an illusion, which means stagnation and sin and death. Because it doesn't exist. Thus, you're calling in your non-existence when you lie. And when you really lie to yourself, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have we done to ourselves? Are we waking up? Can we really see what we've done to ourselves? Not to nobody else yet. You got to see what you did to you. Stop going to try to make some, a, a, an amends with anyone else yet. Until you amend you. Tell yourself you're sorry for what the hell you did to you. You didn't believe in your own dream. Tell yourself you're sorry for that because it was a real dream and you could have got it. <laughs> so yeah, you don't want to worship idols. They're not real. It ain't got no soul. It ain't even got a spirit. You don't want to worship stupid thoughts that take you nowhere. You want to confront even a person if they're not right with right. But you can never confront wrong unless you stand in truth. You think you really do something when you, when you manipulate somebody? You really thought you did something, huh? Oh, I got over. I got over. Well, who, who you get over on? You only got over on you. And it's insane. And all the people, so Allah, number six, Allah lives not in the noise. Do you understand? Noise, babble, gossip. You know what noise is? It used to be called gossip, y'all. Gossip is a cold thing. It's an idol worship. Some people love other people's pain. Ooh, some people love other people's pain, man. I ain't, I've come to really understand like this is a cold thing. This hate is sick. It is a sickness. And the sickness start with me. See, my sickness starts with me. It don't start with no one else. In the day I stopped hating myself, for what reasons someone else told me I was ugly, fat and black, and I took that on, insanity. I took insanity on, cause someone else said it. Cause I cared what another person said. Ooh wee, I was crazy y'all. I was literally psychotic. And it took 15, 20, 30 years to tell myself I love me. You ain't got to go through that. You do not have to do it. It's a horrible feeling. Holding on to something someone else said about you and you believed it. not a good feeling man sisters and brothers we gotta learn to love man or we ain't gonna make it out
We ain't gonna make it. I'm sorry to say it. Some people ain't making it, man. Y'all not gonna make it if you don't learn to love, man. And it breaks my heart. You gotta really get this. Time is short. Time is so short, you have no clue how short time is. Everybody's back and I keep telling y'all and y'all act like it's a joke. They watching us, man. Our ancestors are peeping out and they only gonna take the ones who have learned to love. And I wish to God all of us can go. I ain't got no more, man. It's been a great day. It's been an absolutely wonderful week. I'm talking about the, one of the best weeks of my life. Because I understand who I am even more. And I wish this upon everyone. I want so much success for you. And beauty, man. Everyone deserves happiness and beauty. <laughs> and I really wish that on, not wish, I hope and pray that for all y'all. And for me. And all you gotta do is stop worshiping idols. <laughs> Sounds like a cliche, huh? Ooh, they worshiping the idols. People don't even know what idols are. They think it's a stone, statue. Not what this book is not. This book is totally internal. And you better realize that quick, fast, and hurry. Our people here, man, and they watching y'all. I hope you don't think I'm playing. All right. Allah's meeting place with man is in the heart. And in a still small voice, See, that's, because when you get still, you can, right? You can get away the noise. When you, when you get still, you can take away the noise in your head. And then you can hear something. It's called love. Calling for you to tap in. Where are you tapping in? Your heart. Which means your inner, which means the truth of you, which means for you to start looking at the lies of you. So you can always tap in at any given moment. The only thing blocking you is a lie. Allah's many place with man is in the, man is in the heart. And in a still small voice, he speaks. And he who hears is still. This say he who hears is in an argumentative mode, trying to convince somebody something, trying to prove your point so you don't look bad. And my master teacher told me, man, I love that brother. He said, bro, you better get it quick. Everybody want to look good. Nobody want to look bad. And people will kill you just so that they can look good. And it's real. People will lie on you so that they look good. <laughs> All for a lie. All for a lie. Wow. So the holy breath and number eight, and all the people said, teach us to know the holy one. First, you gotta go get one though. You gotta become one with you, but if you're not one with you, cause you got these multiple personalities of lies that you done told yourself and other people, now you gotta keep the lie up cause you can't live up to the, you can't admit you lied about that. So you can clear clean your plate. 
so you can listen to the still small voice and get into oneness with our life. So the holy breath cannot be seen. Y'all looking for things that show you something. Oh, look at that pretty form. Oh, oh, my body ain't like that body, so I must be bad. Oh, I ain't got no car, so oh, I ain't got no bread like that. Looking for form, and now you judge yourself. Oh, I ain't no good because I ain't got no bread. She ain't going to like me. Uh, this ain't going to happen. He, he, he like them type. He ain't going to like me because I'm fatter. Uh, uh, I ain't this. You formed out. believing in that crap know yourself and love yourself and every every whatever love you want to come through is coming it got no choice the reason you ain't getting no love because you don't love you and there's no possible way love can come because there ain't no room there you wonder by why you ain't got a woman bruh because you don't love you you probably watch too much porno you love more porno than you do you maybe watch too much football you love football, you ain't looking for no woman. If you got a woman and you wonder why it's wrong, cause your ass ain't paying attention. You love everything else but her. And when's the last time you told her you loved her? But love is action. It ain't just saying it. <laughs> this is not hard, but you made it complicated because you're looking for everybody else to solve your problem. You're looking for the white man to solve your problem. You didn't blame him for every damn thing instead of you looking in you. Why are you blaming him? You the one who fell for it. So why don't you go check that part? Like why the hell did I fall for that lie? Oh, that's right, because I'm a liar. Blaming the white man for your problems. What, please? That's just another man. Who got a game to play? Where's your game? Blaming your wife. Blaming your husband. Blaming your children. Blame your ass for not getting out that relationship. <laughs> Blame you for not trying to find counseling for yourself. Why are you waiting on him? Don't you need some counseling? Obviously that fool don't want to get none, so what the hell are you waiting on? Won't you go heal you? You may find that you love you enough to leave so that you can find happiness. It's all about you. Yeah, it is. People don't even want to tell you that because they don't like themselves. But it's all about you. Who made you? Allah. So it is truly all about you. But you don't see that because someone else told you a lie about you. I'm here to tell you, boy, you need to break that. Happiness ain't nothing but a step away. And it will be there forever. It will be there forever. The I love you, you talking to yourself, even when you're talking to your wife, because she's one with you, or he's one with you. When you tell your child you love you, you're really telling yourself too. Because look what you be, look what you brought for. Look what you are helping to bring beauty on the planet until you drop the ball because you dropped the ball on you. Now you are angry and now you're neglecting your responsibility because you can't get your mind together because you worried about what another Negro man may be thinking. Why he didn't call me? Why don't you call you? I'm talking about why he didn't call you? Why don't you call you? Why she didn't call you? Why don't you call you, bruh? Why don't you call you and, and, and ask why you so damn worried? What you do? You ain't secure? Man, pick the phone up and dial your number. Stop dialing everybody else's number and talking about everybody else. Why don't you dial your number and talk about you? You ever go in the mirror and just go off on you like you go off on other people? Some people know how to talk about other people like it's the like a drink of water. Have you ever done that to you? Have you who what, the last time you really went off on somebody? Have you ever went in the mirror and did it? So I went off the other day. I, I think I even went off today, but I went to the mirror and went back off because I allowed myself to get there.
You understand me? When's the last time you went off on you? Always got something to say about somebody else though. You can read everybody's beads. You know about everybody's birth chart, but your home. <laughs> you, you understand? And even if you do, what you doing about it? Oh, you good? Then why you good? Prove it. Should be nothing. Cause you're not good. And if you don't admit that you're not good, how you ever gonna get good? Cause it's the lie blocking you cause you don't wanna admit to it. It's okay. Cause guess what a lot put in place? It's called justice. It's gonna make you admit to it regardless. Some people get admit to it, they end up in, some people can't admit to it, then when it, it forced to admit to it, they end up in prison for 30 years. Cause they couldn't address the issue before they went to the prison. Or they lost they, something they love, they thought they loved, but they never loved themselves. So how can they even know the concepts of love? You think love's an ejaculation. And, you, and you're mad because the next person's ejaculating somebody else. That's what you're really mad about. But that ain't love, though. That's called an ejaculation. Or an orgasm. Ain't got nothing. Where's the love in that? Is when people come together who love themselves, finally. And then that union. Oh, bruh. Hmm. I look forward. Why I look so forward? Because I love me today. Because yesterday I didn't. But today I do. Yesterday was a long time ago. But today is forever. Praise Allah, honor to the Holy Prophet, Noble Jew Ali.